What's going on guys? So today we are doing a chit chat. Get ready with me. I don't really have a specific look going on just simply because I am running errands today. My main purpose of this was just to chit chat. So this video is going to go up on Sunday, the Sunday before Valentine's Day, and I will be in New York City. I'm doing hair and makeup for New York Fashion Week again, so I'm super, super excited about that. So um, I just wanted to take a second and talk to you guys about a couple of things that have been on my mind here recently. It's going to be more so me chatting than actually giving a straight on tutorial. But um, with Valentine's Day coming along, I have always kind of been more of an anti-Valentine's Day. And it's just simply because I have nothing, obviously I love love, I have no, nothing against love, but my heart always goes out to the girls that struggle. You know, there are, I have known some girls that whenever Valentine's Day comes along and they're single, it just kind of really puts a, a damper on the whole situation. So. Basically what I'm saying is, if you are single on Valentine's Day, don't worry about it. First of all, it's just another one of those commercialized holidays, if you will. And the thing is, it does not mean anything whatsoever. I know friends that have been in relationships during Valentine's Day and they still feel lonely. So, so to anyone that may be struggling during this time, don't worry about it. I'll never forget when I was in beauty school, it was during Valentine's Day and I was single. And I swear, every client that day asked me, what are you doing, what are you doing? And I'm like, nothing, I'm, I'm single. The most dumbest question someone could ask you, well, why are you single? What kind of question is that? Why are you single? I'm single because I'm a serial killer, that's why. No, it's just like, you don't ask somebody why they're single. Like, that's just, I don't know, maybe I take it to heart. Maybe uh, I'm too sensitive about the matter, but I'm just like, that's just one of the dumbest questions you can ask someone. Like, you don't know what that person is going through. You don't know their life, but all in all, it's just another day. Don't get wrapped up in it. Something else that I want to talk about is self-love. Self-love is key. I feel like there are so many women out there, women, teenagers, girls, grown women, that are just broken up and shattered inside. And I'll tell you this right now. If you do not love yourself, love from a significant other is not going to mean a thing whatsoever. You know, and I wish that a lot of, especially like the younger girls, they feel like, oh, well, I don't have a boyfriend. It's just like, okay, well, let's just say this. Let's say you do have a boyfriend. Nine times out of ten, this fool ain't going to stick around because you're so young. And I feel like so many young girls feel like, oh, I have to have a boyfriend or I have to, I have to be like this. I have to look like that. You don't have to be or look like anything. You just need to be yourself and do your thing. Something else that really, really has been getting to me. And I've been thinking about this for maybe two months. Women. How we treat each other. It's horrible, you know. I don't understand why. Not all women, but I, I will say about 80% of the female population is just like, y'all do realize we are stronger together, right? So... It just really, really breaks my heart to see how women treat each other, the things that they say to each other, just the constant put downs. And it's just like always this competition. Like I see it all the time at work. I work in the beauty industry, predominantly women. I see it at work. I see it when I'm out and about. And it's just like, why well, we got to treat each other like that? Why can't we just inspire and uplift each other and just be there for each other? Like I'm just like, Jesus Christ, like, is that necessary? And then something else that I notice as well, um, this is just in regards to just some things that I have experienced, things that I've seen on myself, and this is just in the black community, speaking for myself as a black woman, like black women, we gotta do better. Like women in general all around, but just speaking from the black community, there's just so much crap. In fact, okay, I'll tell you about some of my experiences. Something that I've experienced in my life 
is why are you so different that's a question I get I'm like what do you mean and this is the reason why I'm gearing this only towards the black community because it's only black women and black people in general that have only said this to me and when I was younger I didn't quite understand it but then the older I got I understood it and now when I get this comment I get pissed off something I get the most why do you sound like that what do I sound like what you talk like a white girl what like what the hell is that even supposed to mean? Like, I don't, I don't understand that. You sound, you sound like a white girl. So, I look at it like this. It's like, this is my voice, okay? If you do not like the way that I sound, guess what? I am optional. You don't have to talk to me. You don't have to listen to me. It's very, very, very frustrating. That's something that I've gotten all my life. I was born in Germany. I lived there until I was about three or four then we moved to Virginia we lived like in the Oyster Point Newport News area then after that I moved to North Carolina so I don't ever really think I acquired any sort of accent so to speak I just think I speak very neutral and so when people hear me talk they're like oh well you you sound you sound like a white girl and I'm just like hold up so because I don't sound like what your view of a stereotypical black woman sounds like which is basic Ratchet TV, VH1, pick your poison. Because I don't sound like that, that automatically deems me as sounding like a white girl. Like, why are you trying to sound like something that you're not? When really, this is what I am. This is what I sound like. That really, really irritates me. So here's what happens. So someone will say that to me. Sorry, guys, my phone's going off. So someone will say that to me. And then I'm like, okay, well, what do you mean? And then once they realize I start to get a little bit agitated and my tonality and my voice changes, they want to say, oh, wait, wait, well, well, no, no, chill out. I wasn't trying to make you mad. And it's just like, so you ask me why I sound a certain way. And then when I pop off and the tone of my voice changes and I quote unquote act the way you want me to act and sound the way you think I should sound, then you want me to fall back. And I'm like, no, 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 that's not how it works. That is something that really, really irritates me. It is frustrating that some people think that because you are black and you speak with intelligence, that you're trying to be something that you're not. Why can't black women sound intelligent? Why? I, I, don't, I don't understand that. It's just like, okay why do you think that and I blame a lot of the TV and social media for how they portray black women but also I feel like the people that ask me this now it's just like I'm 28 years old you should be educated enough to know that what you see on TV that stuff's not real everyone doesn't act like that or I'll get this oh you're different different you're different from most black girls. What black girls have you been hanging out with that act of plum fool all the time? Like, I don't understand that. That's really, really frustrating to me. So, um, another thing that I get a lot, this irritates me, um, where I work at, there's about 18 stylists. And I have a stylist. Yeah, there's two. There's only two African-American women, myself and another woman. So, yeah, the population, they're... There's a lot of white women, which is not a big deal, whatever, totally fine. But um, I have a very diverse clientele. I have white women, black women, Latina, Asian, you name it, I have it. And so I think a question that irritates me a lot that I get, and I don't know, I just kind of, I sit back, I sit tight on it because I really don't know if the person is trying to clock me or if they really just don't know. But when someone says, oh, well, can you do black hair? What? Like, I feel like this. If you cannot manipulate your own hair texture, I feel like if you are a hairstylist, I guarantee your specialty is going to be your hair type. 
Why is that? Because that is the hair you have had all your life. You know how to work it. So when people ask me that, like, I get really, really offended. Like, what do you mean can I do black hair? I'm like, yeah, I'm black. I got black hair. I got natural hair. I can do your hair. But what, you know, then taking it a step deeper, hair is hair. You know, I can, I am blessed to the fact that I can do all hair types. But when, when black women ask me that question, I'm just like, are you asking me that because you're trying to be funny or are you asking me that because you've gone through my maybe my professional profile or my client art and you see that there's a diverse clientele and maybe you don't see as many black women as you would like to see like I don't that that really that gets to me y'all I'm not I'm not gonna lie that really really frustrates me but of course I have to keep it professional you know can't be popping off like that can't be cutting a fool on people, although sometimes I want to. But you know what? I just look at it this way. You know, ignorance is bliss, and I use it as an opportunity to educate people, you know? Something else that I experience at work a lot, I don't know why, but um, a lot of people, you know, the first thing they say, oh, hi, you know, where are you from? And I always say I'm from Goldsboro, North Carolina, because... I was there from the time I was 10 to 8 years. That's basically where I grew up at. So, Goldsboro, North Carolina. And then they'll just kind of sit there and look at me. I have had so many people just assume that I was... And, it, you know, I'm not... It doesn't, it doesn't offend me that they assume that I'm from somewhere else. But I'll get to the part that does offend me. So they'll say, oh, where are you from? You know, Goldsboro, North Carolina. They're like, oh, okay. And a lot of times people will say, oh, well, you know, I thought maybe you were, like, from the islands. I thought you were from Jamaica, Barbados, or Haiti. Or I thought maybe you were Dominican, X, Y, and Z. And I'm like, nope. I'm, I'm not. I'm just, you know, Southern American, Southern African American girl. And then, this is what gets me. Oh, well, you know, you're so pretty. I just thought, ah, wait a minute. So basically, you're telling me that you look at me, and because you think I'm pretty, you don't think that I could be from America. So basically, what that tells me is, you think any woman of color that is deemed pretty in your eyes it's from another country. That bothers me. That really, really bothers me. So basically, you're telling me that there aren't any pretty African American women here in North Carolina in the United States. Wh what's up with that? Please, please help me. And in the comments, please let me know any of your experience or if you have experienced any of the stuff that I'm talking about because listen, it has been rapid. I think the one that I get before, I used to get the why do you sound like that. I don't get that as often anymore or occasionally, but definitely the oh, where are you from? Oh, well, you're so pretty. I assumed you were from X, Y, and Z. And I'm like, what? Like, who? where do people get this stuff from? Like, I don't understand. It's crazy. I'm going to save that for my next video. Not, not, not going to touch that subject. My Valentine's Day video, I'm excited about it. Don't want to give it away too, too much, but um, that's going to be a good one. I will give you a little bit of a hint. It's not, it's not beauty related. All right, so it's, it's not beauty related. No makeup, no hair, but I'm very, I'm very, very excited for it. So let me just backtrack. I started to get a little bit excited there. How are you guys feeling about my turban situation here? I'm loving this. I'm just running errands and I didn't feel like doing my hair so I just moisturized it with my oil and then I put my scarf on my head. Something else that I, that I have experienced <laughs> people kind of saying to me because the area that I work in, it is a nice area. If you're familiar with Charlotte, North Carolina, I work in Valentine. And it's, you know, a little bit more higher end. There's a few more, you know, uppity people. Not all, but, you know, there's a few. You always have those few. And so things people have said to me, oh, oh, you think you're better because you work over there? What? Or, oh, you think, oh, you think you're better because you're over with the white people? What? What does that have to do with 
anything. It's like, first of all, I am a human being. I'm not better than anyone. I'm a sinner just like you. And I definitely, I pride myself. I can actually toot my horn and say this. I guarantee you, I am probably one of the most humble people you will ever come across. I am 100% humble. I, that's just the way I am. That's the way I was raised. I am very blessed and thankful and gracious for everything that God has done and provided for me because Lord knows any of the stuff that I have now is because of Him. And I'm a very minimal person. I don't have much, but I have enough. And I have way more than what I've ever had in my life. And that and that's a huge thing for me. But um, people kind of talk to me sometimes as if I think I'm better than them. I'm just like, sweet cheeks, guess what? I shit the same way you do. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just like, no, that's not... <laughs> That ain't it at all. But when people say stuff like that to me, I'm just like, yeesh, like, no, not at all. And that makes me upset. When someone, you can have your misper, you can have your perception of me. That's fine. I don't care. But whenever someone tries to make it seem like I'm giving off the, oh, oh I'm better than you, listen, that ain't it. That ain't it. I ain't, I'm not better than you anybody so yeah y'all that's that's been said to me oh you think you're better it's just like so would it make you more comfortable and there's nothing wrong with this either but would it make you more comfortable if I was working in the hood w would that make you feel better but this is something that I have realized in 2017 and it I used to be very very no I guess naive in a sense of this, where it's just like, I mind my business, I work hard, I focus on me, I do my thing, you know? And unfortunately, I hate that I even have to say this, but some people, they they, they get jealous, and I hate that, because a jealous spirit, man, ugh, that, that's, not, that's not it, I don't like that. But basically what I'm saying is, people that are saying things like that they're saying things like that to you they say it to me this is basically what it boils down to they're not trying to see you doing better than them that's it nothing more nothing less so I'm chatting way too much this video is probably way longer than what I intended it to be so I'm just gonna wrap it up by saying this if you are single don't even worry about it do your own thing if you're not single I hope and pray that this is not the only day that you and your significant other <laughs> celebrate each other. <laughs> because if that's the case, then you might need to be single. Um, love yourself at the end of the day. Self-love is key. It don't matter who is loving you. If you don't love yourself, then that's not going to matter. Empower other women. All women. You know, women in the black community, we need to empower each other. Women as a whole, all together, I don't care what race you are, just women in general, we really need to do better. Just about having each other's back and not breaking us down and this competition thing, like that just needs to go. All right, guys, so I'm finished with my makeup. This is just my neutral, not neutral, just, you know, quick, natural, not too much going on. And, um... I'm going to be vlogging New York Fashion Week. I will definitely keep you guys posted on that. Follow me on Snapchat if you want to see what's going on, all right? So that way you can kind of catch the tea before the vlog goes up because I am so swamped this month. The vlog might not go up until March just simply because I'm trying to record a lot, pre-record, and then I'm going to be gone for five days trying to get my life back on track when I get back. So definitely follow me on Snap. It's Amber underscore Sharice. And I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to tune in for the Valentine's Day video. You're not going to want to miss that, all right? Bye, guys.